Hey guys, Anthony here from Triple X RC Garage, and today we're going to talk about the uh, uh, the Traxxas battery and charging system that came out uh, with the ID. Um, basically, we're talking about like the Traxxas battery, and if you notice, it doesn't have a balancing extension cord here. You know, like an extra cord here for balancing because it's all built in into the head. And so what happens is the um, when you go to charge this, um, you're going to plug it in directly here, of course, and you don't have to have a plug in a balancer. So it's automatically going to balance as it's charging. I don't have this one plugged in, so that's why there's no lights on. But but the biggest problem always has been is okay. So now I've got these batteries sitting in my case here, in my lipo bag. I don't know how much energy they have left in them. Well, Traxxas just came out with um, came out with a, uh, a system so you can check these batteries. So what they did is they came out with a little Traxxas uh, battery checker. And what it also comes with, uh, you can buy this in a combo kit. It comes with the wire that plugs in here and the two other wires. So I'm going to show you how these wires work and why you need all these little like, extra wires. So with that, let me move some stuff back here, get this all lined up for you, and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so basically, we're going to say this. Um, say you have, this is a three cell battery, okay? and you want to see what it's going to be. Well, when I first got this, and I didn't read the instructions, and this is why I decided to make this video, is I had just plugged this straight in, where it shows negative here, and I plugged this straight in like this, thinking, well, this is going to work. And then I went ahead and plugged it into the thing, and this is what I got for a reading. I got error. And I'm like, what? Did they sell me something broken here? Because I didn't think these extra wires here meant anything. Well, they do. So basically, if I unplug it from like that, so I'm going to check a three cell. I'm going to use this wire here. I'm going to plug it in back into the to the uh, to the uh, LED or you know the visual box to let you know what you got. And then you have to plug this in here. Okay, so this is going to give me my reading. Now, if you can see this reading here, um, see the reading? Oh, what, ha what happened now? Something happened. I, it was on. One second here. Okay, so now it's showing, you know. All three of my cells. So now, okay, so we think, okay, that's great. And plug it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plug in my two cell battery. And what happens? You get an error. Reason is, is because you have to change the wire out. So you need to disconnect this wire and put in the one for a two cell. And then you need to plug this back in here again. And so then what it's gonna do, it's gonna show me my battery readout of what I've got in each cell. So this is, okay, so basically if you had a four cell LiPo battery, which I don't have, you could connect it here because this would read a four cell. So this will read a basically, this is for the four cell this one's for the three cell, and this one's for the two cell. So you definitely need these to be able to read this battery, uh, these type batteries. So another thing I found out is even though I've got the Traxxas head, I also have um, one of these common sense ones, and I also have another one that I carry in my other battery bag which is basically the regular one. 
these will all work. All three of these things will work with this jumper wire system here to read these things. Now, if you've got the common sense one, you don't really need to buy this combo kit. You can actually buy this um, by itself. And this is going to be the part number. Get it right in here. That's going to be the part number for basically this kit. Comes in that bag like that. And you can buy this separate, or you can buy the whole thing together if you don't have one. So, so basically, what I've done with this just to see how it worked is I basically put my three cell wire using my negative there, and then I plugged this in like this. And here's the cool part. So if I want to gauge this battery, I'll plug it into here like such. Oh, wrong side. Plug it in like this. And that's what I'm going to get. So it's going to tell me the percentage I've got, how many volts I got. So this is a, a different type of uh, reader system from what these are and this one. These ones tell you each cell has. This one here just tells you your maximum lipo and your uh, what percentage you got left. So you can use this one as well as using the Traxxas one, or if you already have this one, this one, or this one, and then all you need to do is buy this kit. However, if you do not have either one of these things, then I would suggest you buy the combo kit and you'll get the whole thing together. So, I was trying to figure out how I'm going to keep track of all this, and I could use a Ziploc bag, which is not a bad idea, but I was thinking, like, what else could I use? So, I found this little soap dish at Target a while ago. I see it's got a little Target branding here. It was clear, and I sprayed it with some Plasti Dip, and let just to see how the Plasti Dip would hold on plastic. It actually held pretty good. I mean, this thing's all scratched up, and it's still got Plasti Dip. So then I decided to customize it. So I put Traxxas decal that I had and my channel emblem. So basically, what I'm doing now is this is going to hold this stuff here, and I'll put a lid on it. And that way it'll stay with me and then if I want to make sure it's not going to come apart I do buy these girl hair straps um, to keep from like using them for bungee cords so I'm just basically made this so this here can be tossed in my toolbox and I'll always have it I do always carry one of these in my lipo bag for my other batteries and this goes in my toolbox which should be better protected than the way I got it but anyway but this is right here all the pieces don't get lost and I always be able to check my TQ I'm sorry I'll always be able to check my ID style um, easy peak uh, batteries so that way I can be able to check them you know the ones from Traxxas so anyway so that's what I did and so anyway that's it Okay guys, well I hope that was helpful and um, I know this is uh, not exactly an actual RC review, but this is something that you can use with your RC if you are running the big batteries, the two cell or the three cell in your any of your crawlers or any of your RCs for that matter. Um, so there you have it. Um, Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and remember, have fun with RCs. Thanks for watching.